Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The eyedropper tool selects color from an image displayed in Photoshop or any place else on your computer screen for that matter. You use the eyedropper tool by selecting it from the toolbox. Then you click and hold down the mouse over the area in your computer screen from which you wish to sample the color. As you drag the eyedropper tool around the screen, the foreground color changes to the color that is underneath the eyedropper tool. If you hold down the Alt key as you're doing this, you will set the background color versus setting the foreground color. When you have the desired color selected, just release the mouse button to select the displayed color. So let's try this. Go ahead and select the eyedropper tool, and then we'll click and drag in here and you'll see the color change as we do that. Now you can also change the size of the point sample that the eyedropper tool selects. After selecting the eyedropper tool, you can select a point sample of either 3x3 three three average or 5x5 five five average from the sample size drop down in the options bar in Photoshop CS and earlier versions. From CS2 on, you can also choose 11x11, 11 31x31, 11, 51x51, 51 51, and 101x101. 101 101. That's located right up here, this drop down. The point sample reads the exact color value of the pixel that you click with the eyedropper tool. So we can select whichever one we want. The other choices read the average color value of either a 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five or greater area of pixels under the eyedropper tool. Now another handy feature of the eyedropper tool that you will learn is that when you have any painting tool selected, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard to temporarily turn the current painting tool into the eyedropper for a quick color change while painting. One other thing that you should notice is that up in the options bar, under sample, you can also choose just the current layer or all layers if you want to select a sample from all of the layers or again just the current layer if you have multiple layers that you're working with as you're making your selections. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.